Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. As you know guys, CrowdStrike Outreach affects a Microsoft system worldwide. So this video is for you. I will show you how to troubleshoot the blue screen or death errors. So whatever error you are getting guys, the screen you should be able to see your PC did not start correctly or startup repair could not repair your PC or windows did not load correctly or your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. So whatever error you are getting, you need to click on advanced options if you are able to see the recovery options if not so you can boot from the usb and then come to this screen or you need to forcefully shut down your system two to three times to get the automatic repair options so once you have got automatic repair options guys you need to click on advanced options and then i will show you three steps to troubleshoot this issue step by step so click on advanced options here then you need to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and simply open the command prompt we need to delete the latest patch of the crowd strike so click choose here the admin username and then hit continue so in here guys we need to delete one folder that is dl del means delete space c colon then the forward slash windows forward slash system32 we are going into the dead directory where the patches has been installed then drivers backslash okay the command you can see on the screen and then crowd strike and then backslash inside the crowd the file name is c you need to give hyphen 5 times 0 and after the 5 times 0 you need to type a 291 and then this star press shift and 8 dot sys this is the file exact now you need to hit enter now it should be deleted from here just cross this out and turn off your pc and it should fix your issue turn it on again if still not fix your issue guys click on troubleshoot advanced option and we can, we can restore our system when the system was working fine before the update so simply click on this option next and choose here the date when system was working fine and then hit next if you have made the system restore and then hit yes option all the data software is safe while choosing this option and this will instantly fix your issue this might take 30 minutes if still you have the problem you can uninstall the latest update but this might not fix the issue but you can try both of the updates here like this is a latest quality update and another one is latest feature update these are the major updates but you can try if nothing is working there so these are the fixes to fix this issue guys so hopefully your issue is resolved now if your issue is resolved then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching